When it comes to hairy upright creatures roaming North America, we sure have a bunch of them. From the eponymous Sasquatch covering the broad spectrum to the big shaggy Momo, not all of them are the same. Sure, we have our grass men and skunk apes, big hulking behemoths of the woods, but have you heard of the devil monkeys? Well, these guys are shorter for one thing, and they supposedly have one hell of an aggressive streak. The monsters that have come to be known as devil monkeys are pretty much different from your typical Sasquatch, to the point that they're considered some other type of primate altogether. The creature is usually said to typically stand between 3 to 5 feet in height, and is covered with reddish dark brown or black shaggy hair that is noticeably thicker around the neck and shoulders. Depending on the report, the creature can be tailless or the other side have a prominently bushy tail. The general shape is more like an ape or other large primate than the Sasquatch's more human type build. And these are supposedly described as moving about on all fours rather than bipedally. Although they are said to have powerful legs that enable them to hop about reminiscent of a kangaroo, able to make giant leaps of distances of up to 20 feet or more. The hands are tipped with wicked claws and the face is typically reported as having a muzzle very dog-like or similar to that of a baboon. Its mouth is said to hold an imposing array of sharp teeth and oversized canines. They are said to make sounds that are very loud whoops, whistles, wails, screams, and barks, and various other vocalizations, and are known for being extremely aggressive, attacking with little or no provocation. The sightings that started the whole strange tale of these devil monkeys allegedly occurred in the area of South Pittsburgh, Tennessee in 1934. That year, there was a bunch of reports by witnesses claiming they had seen baboon-like creatures leaping, bounding, and dashing across fields and roads with great speed. At the time, it was speculated that the people might have been seeing escaped kangaroos, since they were good jumpers, but the reports dried up as suddenly as they started, and no one knows for sure. It wasn't until 1959 that the devil monkey really made its mark, when a couple by the name of Boyd were driving along a dark and secluded rural road near Saltville, Virginia, along with their daughter Pauline. At some point during the drive, the monotony of the trees passing was interrupted by an ape-like beast that barreled out of the wilderness to chase and attack the car without any provocation. Pauline claimed to have gotten a good look at the aggressive creature, saying it looked like a monkey and that it had light taffy-colored hair, with a white blaze down its neck and underbelly. It stood on two large, well-muscled back legs and had shorter front legs or arms. Whatever it was apparently left deep scratches and gouges in the vehicle, although none of the occupants were harmed. Just a few days after that incident, two nurses were allegedly driving along in the same area near Saltville when they were also attacked by the same creature or something similar to it. According to the witnesses, it viciously clawed and tore at their convertible, actually managing to rip the top clear off of it. They said that they had begun to scream wildly and that this had frightened the ape-like thing away. Incidents with these devil monkeys continued on into the 70s, when something like a large bushy-tailed ape with a face like a dog was reported as slaughtering and maiming cattle in Albany, Kentucky. So many sightings of this mysterious monster came in that famed cryptozoologist Lauren Coleman actually traveled to the area in 73 to investigate. While Coleman didn't find any hard evidence of the alleged creature, he came away fairly convinced that something strange was going on, saying, I interviewed the people who were very sincere. In the whole context of devil monkey reports, it seemed extremely sincere. You have these reports of hairy monkey-like creatures with tails, very different from Bigfoot. Something very similar was reported from the backwater areas of rural Georgia in 1979, when a simian entity was sighted several times that was described as having a muzzled snout and a tail like a beaver's, but it's bushy. The sightings didn't stop there, and the reports have continued on well into the later years. In 1994, a woman in Roanoke, Virginia, was driving down a dark road at around 2 a.m. when she was confronted by a very scary creature, like a cross between an ape and a wolf, which materialized out of the night to leap right in front of her. The woman would say it was around 6 feet tall, that it had a wiry and thin frame and cat-like legs, and that it was covered in sleek dark fur. U.S. Game and Wildlife officials dismissed the report as merely being a wolf or feral dog. 
1996, a woman by the name of Barbara Mullins was driving along Louisiana's Highway 12 when she supposedly noticed a large mass sprawled out on the side of the road. She pulled over, got out to investigate, but rather than the dead dog she'd been expecting to see, she saw that it was in fact a creature similar in appearance to a baboon, which was about the size of a large dog and had thick shaggy hair, pointed ears, and ape-like arms and legs. Mullins managed to get photographs of the mysterious carcass, which has been much of a controversy to as what the pictures actually show. Do they show a devil monkey or just a dead dog? Why don't you send off your opinions in the comments down below? In 1997, another simian looking creature around 5 feet tall, with pointy ears, short tail, and disproportionately long arms, and a face like a baboon was seen in Duncansville, Ohio. Yet another incident happened as recently as 2001 in Danville, New Hampshire, where residents were freaked out over unearthly howls and shrieks in the middle of the night, unlike those of any known animal in the area. People who actually claimed to have seen the creature responsible for the eerie noises reported that it was a large primate of some sort with a dog-like muzzle, prominent claws, sharp teeth, and a dark reddish-brown coat of shaggy hair. The fire chief even apparently saw the beast, and the creature was reportedly seen at least nine times over a two-week period, to the point that it caused a minor mass hysteria. Then, the reports just dropped off the map. Even Chicago, Illinois of all places, had its own sighting in January of 2006. On January 12, 2006, one unnamed witness claimed that he had come home to find a devil-like creature attacking his family pet, a Labrador dog. It was described as an unusual combination of monkey, wolf, and devil with long fangs, a monkey-like tail, and extremely bright, glowing eyes. He even claimed to have photographed the incident. Actually, it was apparently the light of the camera flash that scared the thing off. Although the results have left much to be desired, they've proven to be controversial to say the least, with many crying hoax. And as recently as 2009, there was a report from an unnamed wildlife biologist who claimed to have seen a devil monkey in rural Louisiana. The witness said that he had seen the creature running through an open field, and they had it at first taken it to be a dog, but he would soon realize that he was wrong. The witness would explain of his encounter. At first, I guess I kind of thought it may have been a dog, but as it got closer, I realized I was wrong. The thing, whatever it was, ran on all fours to a spot in the fence where the trees were about 30 feet apart and leapt over the five-foot fence in one hop. Once on my side of the fence, this thing stood up on two legs. It was only 30 feet from me at that point, and I got a really good look at it. It was about four feet tall, maybe a little bigger. It had really big yellowish eyes, large pointed ears, and a sparse coat of shaggy fur. It stood on its tiptoes and had a long, somewhat bushy tail, kind of like a squirrel, but not nearly as thickly furred. The snout was very cat-like. I was close enough to make out thick hairs on the face. I'm inclined to believe that these may have been whiskers. Once it stood, it kept its arms to its sides, much like a human, but slightly bent at the elbows. Its hands had identifiable fingers with noticeable claws. I know I saw something that day that I couldn't explain, and I'm hard-pressed to ask others to blindly accept what I say at face value. I'm not trying to convince anyone, but rather find answers for myself. In any case, after considering the evidence, I firmly believe that what I saw was a so-called devil monkey. Of course, as usual, there have been plenty of ideas of what the devil monkeys could be. For some, they are an undiscovered species of primate inhabiting the isolated wildernesses of America. For others, they could just be misidentified dogs, wolves, coyotes, or even escaped kangaroos. There are even the ideas floating around that it could be an exotic escaped monkey or ape. More out in the realm of the bizarre is that they're experience, mutated, aliens, the chupacabras, or interdimensional beasts. Of course, this could all still just be a hoax and an urban legend in the end. No one really knows for sure, but the devil monkey reports still sporadically come in. If you like what you heard, leave a like and maybe sound off in the comments down below. And don't forget to check back in on Monday for another episode of The Unknown Files here on Unknown Territory.